Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Single Mother After Abuse. Today's topic is how to level up after narcissistic abuse. I have put together 10 of my own ways on how to level up, how to grow, how to become a better woman, because let's be honest, we need to be focusing on ourselves now. We become so consumed in the narcissist, whether it be in or out of the relationship, we have often felt like we don't know who we are anymore. So to help you identify yourself, to get back to the old but better you, Listen up and subscribe to this channel. Number one, seek the professional help you need, whether it be counseling or therapy. There are so many organizations out there that help with abuse. Personally, for me, I spoke to my doctor and he was the one that told me about therapy and counseling and what was available in my area. I would suggest therapy because with me, she that my therapist was able to guide me in the right direction and help me challenge my own thoughts whereas with counseling she listened to my issues um didn't really contribute much but and well she didn't give me homework either whereas with the therapist she gave me homework um and that worked for me but you need to be doing what's best for you seek the professional help you need number two do something you enjoy by yourself when you're in a partnership, we often tend to lose sight of what we enjoy and we become so wrapped up in doing something with another person that we don't know how to do things alone anymore. So I would suggest you do something with yourself, not a friend, not a family member, by yourself. This really helped me. Number three. Day before yesterday, I danced around in my room listening to the, my, one of my favourite songs. In fact, two of my favourite songs. I felt so free. No one was watching me. My daughter was at school and I loved it. While dancing, I became slightly emotional as I thought about my cousin who sadly passed away. But the freeness of dance, it really made me release the built up tension that I had. And it just made me happy. Number four. Put on red lipstick, enhance your lashes, cut those uh, dead ends off your hair. <laughs> when I say enhance your lashes, please do not overdo it. Natural looking is best. I haven't done this myself this week, but I will on the weekend. <laughs> Every time I wear red lipstick, I've noticed the amount of men looking at me. Okay, yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like red is the symbol of love or lust. After narcissistic abuse, the last thing on my mind was dating. I've been single for four and a half years now, and I think I may be ready to date. If you're not ready to date, wear red lipstick anyway. There is nothing more feminine than red lipstick. You need to be feeling at your best. Having admirers will boost your confidence. Let them look, but don't touch. There's no harm in that. When people see that you're a confident woman with a strut in your walk, you'll be having a good day and nothing but positivity will follow. Trust me. Number five, I'm aware that you cannot help dreams and nightmares after narcissist, narcissistic abuse, but um, you need to be leaving room for at least a seven or an eight hour sleep. Change your bed, seat, bed sheets, decorate your bedroom, make it look hotel like and trust me, you'll be nothing but relaxed. Number six, go to the gym. I actually recommend this a lot. Working out at home is good, but I realized being in an environment where other people are working out makes you more dedicated to become healthier. You need to be around people that are trying to reach the same goal as you. Whereas if you're at home, it's easy to stop mid-workout, sit on the sofa and think about your knock. And we don't want that, ladies. Number seven, Remove anything that reminds you of the knock. Birthday cards, Valentine's cards, gifts that he may have bought you in the love bombing stage. Everything. Actually, you know what? This includes removing friends that did not help you through your difficult time. I did this and I cannot lie. Okay, I can't go to the club alone, but I can go to the cinema. I can go to the spa alone. I would rather have no friends than have friends that don't care about my well-being. Because technically, I'm alone anyway, right? Friends that don't check up on you, you don't need. Friends that only want you to give advice to their relationship problems, you definitely do not, lay, uh, do, do not need, okay? So remove toxic people and remove anything that reminds you of the narc. Number eight. 
if you are dating, do not date a man that has a sob story about his ex and how his ex is a witch. Do not date a man that has that hasn't got a good relationship with his mother. Do not date a man that hasn't got a nice pair of shoes on. Do not date a man that will make you go halves or pay for your dates. Do not date these men, ladies. If he is a man, then he should be taking care of you. Number nine, get a job or a raise at work. Better yet, get a job. Start thinking positive because you deserve everything you want. You deserve that new necklace. You deserve that new bag. You deserve that that new pair of shoes, okay? Get yourself a better job or a raise. It will make a difference to your life. Number 10, educate yourself. Read a good book. I love a good book. Stay away from YouTube unless you want to start a side hustle and you need more motivation to start a new skill. Get yourself down to that library, get a membership card and start reading today. It will help your knowledge. You'll become more of a conversationalist, (laughs) which makes you appear more interesting and less dull. Get yourself a book. So, so So subscribe to this channel and share with anybody you feel is suffering from narcissistic abuse. And I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.